Welcome to the Firing Squad Podcast, where four guys talk about blazing hot topics that they discuss when no one else is around. No fluff, no bull. They tell it like it is. And now, here is the squad. Yo, what's up? This is your boy Ham. Welcome to another episode of the Firing Squad Podcast. It's somewhere around February, end of the month. I don't know the date. Was yep. it the 25th or something? 26th. What is it? Yeah, it don't make a difference. something Well, tonight the Oscars are on, and uh, we're not going to talk about that because uh, WDGAF, you know. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> But we are going to talk about yeah, these, uh, but, uh, <laughs> these. Black people black, black people winning, though, right now. Yeah. Black people racking up on the Oscars right now. Oh, they are. We just got to take uh, care of business. I'm still not, you know, just looking at that joint. And as you can see already, we yeah. got the uh, usual suspects. We got myself, Ham, on the line. We got Lance. Yep. We got Roper. We back. We got Creekmore. What it do? And the last person we call, we got uh, Lyles. <laughs> the last person Yo, we call. What up? What up? Yeah, for real. Hey, 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 let me get, let me, hey, hey, let me get like, let me get like fifteen seconds on the Oscars real quick. Go ahead. The Oscars, the Oscars is whack because it's like unlike the Grammys. At least with the Grammys, you get some performances and shit. Like on the Oscars, they're just giving out awards about movies that most of us haven't seen. And don't really care about like this. This year happened to be a couple of good like like hidden fences and uh, hidden figures. But I mean fences and hidden figures. Damn, you I did the same thing with the white dude did, man. Oh, I did the fences joint, man. They planted that seed. Um, <laughs> but like usually, nobody cares about these movies. It's just super whack. I I'm am. Gonna, I am going to f- try to find them on the fire stick, though. <laughs> yeah. And white America just right. in, in fear of any way to, to make themselves not look racist. So, I mean, we coming up off that as well. So it's you, not like the talent went up. So y'all saying that they they got it uh, as like a, not because they deserved it? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying the talent hadn't gone up. I just say they're choosing to recognize because it's a, a opinion or, you know, that's what I'm saying. So we it's not like we got better. We've always been on that high level, you know, at the, at the movies that have uh, made it to that point. For consideration, yeah, but. and then last year, last year was like Oscar's so white, so it almost yeah. like they had to get more black to, people yeah. towards the yeah. time because of the criticism. And then Trump, then people like, getting murked in the street, just like, the whole climate saying, of America. So you saying they gave so one to OJ? By, <laughs> you saying it's fueled by white guilt? Yes, OJ got an Oscar. Yeah, partially. come on, man. Yeah. Like really? Yeah, I don't yeah. care if OJ was the best documentary on the fa- like in the history of documentaries ten years <laughs> ago. That that shit would have never happened just off the strength of OJ. Yeah. Yeah, right, yep. Hey, shout out to uh, Viola Davis. Oh uh, yeah, born. Oh yeah, and lived in South Carolina for two months of her life. Yep. So we get to, <laughs> we get to claim her. Yep. And shout out to her trainer too. She's looking good. Yeah. Doing a good job. I thought that was her first time winning. I thought that was her first time winning, but I I didn't realize she won before because she was carrying on like it was her first time winning. Is she uh is she the first South Carolinian to win? No, I'm sure she's not. No, yeah. it can't be. No way. Yeah, well, we're going to claim her, though, but I, I read her wiki, and she she moved to Rhode Island when she was two months old, but it doesn't matter. So I was oh, really? Was <laughs> yeah. Born in St. Matthews. People doing them big ups. Uh, Dang. Yeah, man. Shout out. All right. But, yeah. And then the, the dude from um, House of Cards, Remy. We're going to get yeah. on the other Remy later, but oh. Remy from House of Cards, he won one. Oh, yeah, he did. The dude with the African name? Or yeah. The, the mus- yeah, yeah. I, I actually thought he was African because of his name, but well, I looked at he's from Oakland. He's just from Oakland. And then he converted to... Uh, <laughs> so he just changed that himself. He, yeah. No, his name was something different. I mean, you can't even... It had like a, at least 20 letters in it. And then he changed it to whatever it is, and he, and he converted to Islam. Oh, you talking about the dude that went from Moonlight? Yeah. 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 His name way too long. Yeah, it's way too long. You need to cut it. <laughs> Short it. All right. So, go ahead, go ahead, Rope. All right, so we got to talk about this Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj beef. So, you want to play the music first? We want to want to talk about the what else is going on. Well, just give them a little bit of uh, background of because I didn't know this was going on okay. until I think Ham showed me. Was it on Sway? Where was she was on the? She was actually on the radio. Oh, that is right. That yeah. Was, yeah. So I didn't know that they even had a beef until that, which is a couple weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's something that's been kind of brewing for a little while now. So, I mean, you got Nicki Minaj, she's the queen of hip-hop right now. But since Remy's been out of jail, people have been saying, you know, well, Remy, Remy might actually be a, a better 
rapper yeah. than Nicki Minaj. So they both been kind of throwing a little sub- subliminal shots here and there. And uh, Remy, she was actually on The Breakfast Club a couple weeks ago, and they asked her about Nicki Minaj, and she said she don't have a problem with Nicki Minaj. She just feel like she feel like she's the best rapper. She feel like she's the best female rapper. She like she feel like she's better than Nicki, and she feel like she's the best. She better than a lot of males, and she said that. True, and, uh, true. Baruch, yeah. I guess. Baruch, but, yeah. Baruch, she said. Yeah, go ahead. Baruch, she said. She said if she was talking about her, she would she would say her name. Yeah, she, she said, said she would say she her like, name. Yeah, yeah. She was like, I ain't throwing no sneak disses. If I'm talking about you, I'll say your name. Yeah. So you ain't got to yeah. worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that's key. So I guess Nicki Minaj felt some type of way. So she said something about uh, Remy Ma on one of the Gucci songs that just came out a couple of days ago, um, called "Make Love." I'm gonna let you hear it. She, yeah, she had a comment in there saying that if you um going to be the queen of rap, you got to have plaques. As if from your ma, she got you know a plaque for the the latest song that her and Fat Joe got together. To, uh, you talking about Lean Back? <laughs> Not all the way up, all the way up record. You know, that's Grammy nominated, so she trying yo, to say that. Isn't that that song where Jay Z said uh, "Lemonade is a popular drink" and it still is? That was that was bar two, wasn't it? Garbage. <laughs> yeah. But that, they, uh, <laughs> But they go, but they kind of go back to like all the way back to then though, because before Remy got locked up, that terror squad and like leaned back, like that shit was hot in the club. They were on top at that point. So yeah. Remy was kind of like the queen of like in the hip hop world at that point, and, and Nicki was just kind of coming on. This the this is a common theme in the streets. It's just like uh, on like on, I'm gonna get you sucker when he came out of jail with the uh, the pimp came out. You know, he was on top of the yeah. game, came out with the goldfish in his heels. <laughs> or when MC Gusto got locked up and they stole his identity. Or the real Rick Ross. I mean, it happens all the time. When you hot, you go in hibernation and somebody just takes over and you come back out. Yep. Look, this is all I know. All I know is that out of every everybody on Love & Hip Hop always in the studio. But she actually, on her first season, like... Got hits. Got hits. That I'm listening to. Yeah, I'm, like on every episode, you see them like nonstop in the studio recording. And the only ones I, the only other one I know have known to do that. Is K Michelle, right? Yeah, maybe Armarion had that one song, but Armarion quit the show. But he really what you could tell he wasn't in it for the. It yeah, was more. He wasn't. Yeah, it was for his girl. Because yeah. he wasn't. But yeah, but all I mean, she yeah. the only one that like literally all of them be in the studio night and day, <laughs> and then none of them record never release a record, never see him on TV. That Mama D I deserve was riding though for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Remy Ma. <laughs> Getting out the pen <laughs> and right back on the stage. All right, so I, I feel yeah, it's important. For, for, for the most part, that's that's what happened. Uh, the just record to make love really set Remy off when she heard that. Then so she came back with the sheet. To, and so that got everybody talking, man. So that's where we at, man. If you want to play it, let people hear. And for those who aren't uh, about. as well versed, you know, for you know some of our more sheltered viewers, yeah, Nicki Minaj was a real rapper before American Idol. And can you give a? Can somebody break down what Sheether is? Know what the title is? What, what what's behind the title? Before we get into that, too, why she called it that? Because people might not be rap aficionados. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Sheetha, that's a play off of Nas's big time disc record Ether, where he went at Jay Z, um, one of the best disc records of all time. So she used that title, she used that beat for her disc record at Nicki Minaj. So that's where that came from. It is Sheetha, also Ether. Crazy. But listen, when you listen to this, uh, this make love I'm about to play, uh, Nikki references that she re- references uh, Nas in her disc, and I think oh. so. I'm thinking maybe even another layer. Uh-huh. Oh, really? That when Remy came yeah. back, she's like, "You mentioned Nas." That, I'm gonna that's use some Ether. deep stuff. Let's yeah. let's get into it. All right, yeah. so so we're gonna play the whole thing yeah. in its entirety because I think it's important that you guys listen to both. So the first one is the Nicki Minaj is two minutes. So bear with us. Here we go. Talking housewives, but I'm in the Porsche. First, I'm a scorcher, then I'm a torture, then I'm a torture, huh? Then I'm a offer. A million dollars for a show they made, they offer. Go against Nikki, it's gonna cost ya. Cause now it's fuck ya. In the course, yeah. I rep queens where they listen to a bunch of nods. I'm a yes, and these bitches is a bunch of nods. Trying to win a gunfight with a bunch of knobs. 
I win Get off the bench and give a bunch of fives I don't see ya Bitch, I'm the greatest No Kendrick and no see ya I'm the iPhone Cue the Nokia Everybody know you jealous Bitch, it's so clear Tell them bum ass bitches to play they role She see my sexy ass every time she scroll I got it in the can your career gon' be with Anna Nicole With your dumb ass face She ain't eating, but I swear she got some bum ass taste Text her man like, dog, how that bum ass taste? Pay your rent and stay in your bum ass place Oh, oh, you the quickie, the queen of this here One platinum plat, I won't flop, bitch, where? Just to laugh, you see, silly rabbit. To be the queen of rap, you gotta sell records. You gotta get plaques. S, plural, like the S on my chest. Now sit your dumb ass down. You got an F on your test. F on your test. All right, that just made. Uh, Remy's response more brilliant yeah. because what happened was a lot of people, present company included Lance and myself, and I, I'm sure a lot of other people, that Gucci track right there slipped under the radar. So we heard like the retaliation, which was Remy first, mm-hmm. and and a lot of those references that were direct references from Nikki's track kind of went over my head. Like I knew like the, all the TMZ and the dirt and stuff, but listening to that track for the first time here with you guys. Like I'm like, dang, that's why Remy said that. Like she really just like flipped old like flipped Nikki's stuff and put it on her track. And Nikki said was that brilliant. she yeah. she cut two bars so she could laugh. She probably shouldn't have done that. Nah. Yeah. yeah. She that that sounded like a, a a diss from a very comfortable, successful place. Like Nick it, it's almost like you you kinda interested in fighting somebody, but then you don't realize that the other person ain't got nothing to lose and you into like an ass whipping. You know how like you see them world star fights on the bus. <laughs> like you talking trash, but you don't know what kind of data person had. <laughs> So, <laughs> no, but if I'm being honest though, so if I would, if I would have heard, I'd never heard that song until earlier today. But if I would have heard that first, I was like, okay, it's a dope beat, and you know that's it's dope because for a so-called beef with a female rapper. But once I heard Remy Ma's, which I'm about to play, I was like, don't matter. You could just take the gender off, mm-hmm. and she destroyed her. Period. Yeah. Like Nikki yeah. set yeah. up a lot of alley for her too. Yeah. She would just is is there. All right, so y'all want to go into the the Remy Ma? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and go ahead and play the play the flank or... All right, so this one is <laughs> this one's seven minutes, but just bear with us. I think it's important that we listen to the whole thing. Here we go. I mean, you listening free to a podcast? Money. You ain't got nothing else. Yeah, to do. You know this podcast. Free right. Remy. <laughs> Fuck you, free Remy. Fuck Nicki Minaj. Are you dumb? You a pink diamond chicken wing chain. Are you dumb? Yo, son, turn this up a bit. Are you dumb? Are you forgetting that I pressed you before, bitch? Fuck Nicki Minaj. I fuck with your soul like she the. Will. You ain't the queen, I'll show you. Nah. Like on your ass and belly. Lose. I prove you lost and ready. They told you your whole career I'd come home and kill you, right? I told you I wasn't talking about your dumb ass and look stupid. You literally got a dumb ass talking crazy. And we all know that you dumb ass. You get donkey at a day. Yeah, you dumb ass. Let's be honest. You stole that line about bitches being your sons. How you take my 09 jail tweet and run? Talking about bringing knives to a fight with guns when the only shot you ever took was in your buns. And I saw Meek at All Star. He told me your ass dropped. He couldn't fuck you for three months because your ass dropped. Now, I I don't think I understand how bad her ass got. The implants that she had put in her ass pop. I was like, damn, 90 days and you couldn't have box? Did she at least compensate? Start giving you mad tops? Her name Minaj, right? She ain't throw you some bad thoughts? He said, nah, that's when I knew you was really a trash bop. You was screaming free Remy when I was upstate doom. But now that they free Remy, you don't sing the same tune. Lock me up, threw away my keys, threw away my weed. Snatch me from my son, braids to the back, state greens, daily news. Her career's over She was kind of stupid But you saw an opportunity Cause you were opportunist Left your day one Cause you heard he was on some cheat shit Then got with the dude that told you On some creep shit But what happened to Omika? Nah, on- 